Hi, I'm Adrian Schneer, Advancement Coach and Strategist, Lawyer and Professor, and you're listening to the Advancement Spot Podcast, the podcast all about academic and professional skills, strategy, and mindset to help you make big moves to achieve a life beyond your wildest dreams. If you're looking to accomplish more and take your next steps with supportive and experience-informed strategies, look no further. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to the Advancement Spot Podcast. I'm your coach, Adrian Schneer, and I am so grateful that you've taken time out of your busy day to spend some here with me. Today, I'm going to talk about something that actually has come up on social media a lot and which I wholly disagree with. And that is the concept that you have to obsess over your standardized tests in order to do well on them. I don't agree with this at all. And I'm going to tell you why. Firstly, there are many personalities out there, companies out there that thrive and make their money off of fear-based marketing. I've talked about this before. Part of this fear-based marketing is that the marketing, the ads, the social media content, which make no mistake is absolutely part of their marketing. The goal of much of it is to make students, applicants feel insecure, like they are not enough, that everything has to be super competitive and that you have to feed into that. Again, I completely fundamentally disagree with all of this. And the reason that I fundamentally disagree with all of it is because I know it's not true. I know for a fact that it is not true because I have been an applicant. I have been a professor for over 10 years. I have been on admissions committees and continue to be at every single level. And I work with students and clients every single day who are thriving because of our non-competition policy here at Apply Yourself. We do not use fear-based anything in our community at all, ever, period. You will never find any fear-based anything here. And the reason that this is so important for you to know is that you can be in alignment with you. You can feel centered. You can feel authentic. You can feel genuine. You can feel unique. You can feel you without worrying about other people, without fearing that you're not enough, without feeling insecure. This is so important. So these posts that I've started to see over the last several weeks that you have to obsess in order to do well on your standardized test, you actually don't. You don't have to obsess over anything to do well. Obsession is not actually a healthy thing to do. It's not. And we talk about the healthy way to do things, for example, committing, consistency, remaining accountable, having strategy that for for us here at Apply Yourself is 100% based in sustainable health, wellness, mental health. We absolutely do not buy into any of this obsession, fear-based scarcity mindset and tactics because it doesn't work. It makes us fearful. It leads students. And I've talked about this on many podcast episodes on my journey that I've seen many students while I was a student as a professor over the last over a decade, engage in really unhealthy and toxic behaviors and professionals too. This doesn't just stop when people graduate from school. This continues into the professional world. And I've seen how harmful it is to people in their advancement. And you don't need to buy into it. Don't buy into it. Scroll past it. Continue to focus on you. So this idea that we need to obsess over something in order to have it happen is feeding into this fear-based mindset. Because like, what happens when you read a post that says, how do I do this? Obsess over it. Obsession is the number one thing that you need. Obsess, obs- be obsessed by it. Well, to most people, that doesn't feel natural to be obsessed by something. And it's very different if you have a curiosity or an interest in something 
But an obsession with something is very different. That crosses over a line. And I think we have to be really careful about how we're defining things here. So when you read something like that, when a student who's 21 or 22 or 23 thinking about a standardized test or thinking about an application process or anything else that they or any other goals that they are wanting to achieve, when they're reading something like this that says you have to obsess over it, it crosses a really unhealthy boundary into actually having to wire our brains to do something that is not healthy, that is not natural. And this obsession can cause, as I've said, really unhealthy, harmful habits. Because with obsession, reason goes away. Because it's not reasonable to obsess over things. It's really not justifiable to obsess over things in the way that people receive this term, obsession. So it's really important that we sit back and we really actually think critically about the kind of content that we're consuming, not only online, but also the content that we are consuming from people around us and from companies. And so when we're thinking about these posts that talk about obsession, we also have to realize that as we receive that, something changes in our minds in thinking that in order to achieve, in order to become successful, in order to achieve our goals, we need to be obsessed. We need to cross over that line of rationality to irrationality in order to achieve. And that is where so many problems happen. Because when we throw reason out the window, when we throw rationality out the window, when we stop listening to ourselves and how we feel in alignment with ourselves and our choices, we have to be making choices and decisions that are in alignment with us. As I've said before on this podcast, I have been called to emergent situations, urgent and emergent situations for people who have turned to unhealthy substances and vices in order to achieve their goals because that's what they think is going to get them there. They think everybody's doing it, so they have to do it. Let me tell you something. Everybody's not doing it and it's not needed. And when you are in a position of you've made your goal, you've defined it, and you want it, And then you see something that says you've got to be obsessed with it in order to achieve it. That changes things because it takes you away from strategy. It takes you away from thoughtfulness, intentionality, mindfulness, meaningfulness in your choices and analysis of your choices and why you're making them into a zone where you can become surrounded by unhealthy decisions, unhealthy options that can actually be really harmful, not only in the short term, but also in the long term. So there are a few things that we can do in order to avoid this obsession because we we do not need to be obsessed. People do not need to obsess and people don't. I never obsessed over anything I was doing. I did things that felt in alignment with me and what what I wanted to do, what my choices were, and my goals change sometimes. Because sometimes the choices, the next steps didn't feel in alignment with me. And so sometimes that meant big and small changes to either goals or the strategy to achieve those goals. And that's still true today. I still use these same tools today. So when we are thinking about the next best steps for us, obsession should not be part of the equation. Instead, we need probably three things. Number one, we need support. We need a group of people or a person to help us figure out path, the best way forward for us. And often what I will hear is, oh, I I spoke to this doctor, I spoke to this lawyer, I spoke to whoever, and this is how they did it, so that's how I have to do it. No, that's also not true. Because what worked for them may not work for you. They had different circumstances than you. And so what you need is support that is informed, that is up to date, And from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about, who's had experience through these processes. 
you also need the support of a community of people who are like-minded. So for example, here at Apply Yourself, we do not buy into any fear-based or scarcity-based thought processes, mindset, marketing tactics, or anything else. We focus on you, we focus on growth, we focus on abundance, and we focus on actual experience-informed strategy, real-life-informed strategy, step-by-step, every single step of the way. So that is the second point, actually. Strategy. You need strategy. So in addition to informed experience-informed support, you need strategy. And strategy means more than just throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. Strategy means that you have a goal, you've broken it down into its constituent parts, into its more manageable parts, into its more digestible parts, so that you can take action, meaningful action that is actually going to move the needle. Not, well, I'm going to apply to this program or I'm going to apply to this job and just see what happens. That's not strategy. That's throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. Strategy is your goals broken down into digestible, manageable steps so that you can actually move forward with confidence, clarity, and with all of your answers. So we have support and we have strategy. And just so we're clear here, this language of obsession doesn't just use the word obsess. It also uses the language of do whatever it takes, something like that. Now, when a 21, 22, 23-year-old or even a young professional or older professional who's not exposed to the kind of mindset work that we do here, when you hear that, when they hear that, what does that tell them? Do whatever it takes. I think that this tells them, and I know this from students that I've coached, from my own students who see this stuff, from me seeing it online, thinking, oh my gosh, No, I'm not willing to do whatever it takes. I'm willing to do the right strategy, to take the right strategy with the right support in order to achieve everything that I want. Whatever it takes is actually a really dangerous place to be, to be quite honest with you. And it really fires me up because this causes so much harm to people. And I've seen it. And I get screenshots. You guys are sending me screenshots on Instagram saying like, look at this. This is, and once, because once you're exposed to this fear-based marketing, this fear-mongering that happens, you see it everywhere. And you're sending me the screenshots and you're saying, look at this. This person is essentially telling people whatever it takes is what's needed, but it's not. It's not. So I'm here to tell you that there's another way. I'm here to tell you confidently, 100% guaranteed there is another way. And the way is not to obsess. The way is not to do whatever it takes. The way is to get support from a community that is like-minded in the way that we are here, where we focus on growth and abundance, not on obsession not on doing whatever it takes because that is not the way that we achieve sustainable advancement throughout the course of our lives. That is a surefire way to unhealthy habits, to burning out, to ignoring our intuition, to ignoring what feels in alignment with us, and to not trusting ourselves, not trusting what feels right to us, not trusting what feels in alignment with us. And this is one of the most important things. One of the most important skills that you can develop is learning to listen to yourself in a way that you trust not only yourself, but you trust your intuition. And you learn to trust as you develop your skill of being analytical of your choices because sometimes you could think that one choice is the way to go and it turns out that another choice is the way to go and you thought it through and you decided okay that wasn't the way and this is the way so learning your thought process and trusting your thought process because you are doing it thoughtfully and intentionally is also a really important skill so what it comes down to is that you absolutely do not need to obsess. You do not need to do what 
whatever it takes. You need to take the steps that are appropriate, reasonable, and rational as those steps become available to you. You need support. You need informed support, experience informed support, up to date experience informed support. And you need strategy from someone who knows the process who has been and continues to be on the ground doing it every single day. So let me know if this resonated with you. Send me a DM on Instagram at Apply Yourself Global and let me know if this resonated with you. Let me know if you've been exposed to these posts and these thoughts and these the, this mindset, even from people around you. You gotta do what it takes, do whatever it takes, you gotta obsess over it. Let me know if you've heard this And let me know what you think now. If you're feeling a little confused or uneasy, that's not a surprise to me at all because the narrative out there tends to be, I have to do whatever it takes. I have to obsess. Everybody else is doing whatever it takes. And here I'm telling you, you don't need to go that far. It doesn't need to be so intense because you'll have support and you'll have strategy and you will give yourself that opportunity. And then you take steps along the way, informed by that support, informed by that strategy to make it happen step by step, thoughtfully and intentionally without obsessing and without needing to do whatever it takes, because that is not a place where we need to be. So reach out to me, send me a DM at Apply Yourself Global on Instagram. And let me know if this resonated with you. Let me know if this has changed your mind at all about some of the content that you're seeing. And let me know, let me know how you feel. Let me know if that content is in alignment with you. It's certainly not in alignment with me, but I would be so happy to hear your perspectives on it. And let me know if it is, as I said, or if it isn't in alignment with you. And I would love to know why and what you think. Thank you for joining me today. And we will see you next time. Thanks for listening to the Advancement Spot podcast. If you heard something today that helped you get one step closer to achieving the amazing life you want, and you'd like to learn more about working with me, I'd love to hop on a call with you to see how we can help you. So follow me on Instagram at Apply Yourself Global and send me an email at hello at applyyourselfglobal.com. I'd love to hear from you. Remember to subscribe so you never miss an episode, leave this episode a review, and share this episode with somebody you think needs a boost of inspiration and actionable tools to help them succeed. Thanks for joining me and see you next week.